Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Reporter of the Week. Pleased to be here. Hope everyone out there is doing alright. A big review right here. Not only because, I mean, well that's actually an easy thing to say because the big is in the title. It's the big dinner box, a big occasion, a big everything. Um, this is big though. The big dinner box is a, uh, it's a meal deal from Pizza Hut that I know it was around, I think it was in 2011 or 2012, and uh, they have brought it back. It's returned. I'm here to try it out. I'm here to determine if it's a good deal or not. I'll kind of sample it. We'll see what it's all about. And uh, I'll give an overall assessment as well. So kind of taking a look at the big dinner box, big reveal. As a matter of fact, the entire... You know how they say that the floor is lava? Well, in this case, it's not lava. It's not even the floor. But pretending that this is the floor, it's composed entirely of a big dinner box. Right, this is the big dinner box right here. Before we show you what it is... Let me uh, tell you all about it. The big dinner box from Pizza Hut. So here's what it is. Like we were saying, it's a meal deal. It has a large quantity of food. Um, probably good for folks who are either extremely ravenous, maybe are competitive eaters, or, you know, for the family, if you want to get a meal for multiple individuals, this might be for you. Here's what it comes with. The traditional big dinner box features two medium rectangular thick crust pizzas, five breadsticks, and eight wings. Uh, or you could substitute the wings for pasta. There's also another alternative. If you don't want to get the two pizzas and the two sides, you can substitute it and you can get three of the rectangular medium pizzas. Now, obviously there's a large quantity of food involved. That comes down to the price, right? What exactly would you be paying um, for all of this food, you know, to make the meal deal worth it. Well, here's the interesting thing. There's actually no set price for the big dinner box, and uh, they have pretty much said that the price varies by location. But from the research I was able to do, here's what I can tell you. It seems to be priced anywhere from 20 to $25. In my case, I spent $23. Uh, I got the two pizzas, I got the wings, and I got the breadsticks. Uh, but other individuals have reported getting it for $21 or even $20. So, inside the box, I got a pepperoni pizza, you know, standard pepperoni. I also got a pizza with some veggies on it. Uh, it has some mushrooms on it and some green peppers. I got some uh, wings that are medium. I don't want to go overboard, you know, because I'm already... You just can't push it any further at this point. And then I got the regular breadsticks. Uh, it does come with marinara sauce that they kind of put on the top of the box, because there's really, as you'll see in a moment, no room inside the box for uh, anything else. I mean, every all the space inside this box is utilized. As you'll also see in a moment, the uh, looks like they're going with a, a school type of, of theme for the big dinner box. I guess they're trying to say, you know, school is getting back in session either, you know, now in August in certain parts of the country, or in September, but uh, with the return to school, I guess, you know, somehow that coincides with the release of the big dinner box, and that's what we have, but they've, uh, well, let's, let's hold it up right here. It says an easy A for dinner. U plus pizza, awesome. <laughs> I knew this was going to be challenge. Well, I'll do, I'll do this one first. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll try to get a thumbnail like this. You know, I'm not even going to be able to have the whole thing there, but we'll get a thumbnail like this too. And there it is, the big dinner box. Look at that. It is a big dinner box. This thing is probably bigger than me. At least what you could see in the camera. This thing is huge. And we'll take that third thumbnail. Now let's open it up, right? Because, all right, you saw the box. You saw what it looks like. Now we'll really see the goods. So, 
And like I was saying about space, you can see pepperoni pizza closest to you. You can see the wings under their little radiation-proof foil, the breadsticks, and then the veggie pizza there as well. And uh, again, this is so big, I'll do this also as a thumbnail just for the heck of it before we dig in. And uh, now I'll just position it this way. And I'm just going to do a little bit of a sampler. We're just going to see what it tastes like. Go from there. And uh, that'll, be the, uh, that'll be the meal, really. So first up, we got the pepperoni pizza. Thick crust, again, square cut with pepperoni on it. And I got the uh, hot favorite crust flavor. Uh, like we did with that McDonald's meal previously, I'll just sample these, kind of let you know the basics of what it tastes like, and then we'll move on to the next. So the pepperoni pizza from the big dinner box going in. Pizza is very reminiscent of the pan pizza. So think of this as like square cut pan pizza where it's, you know, it's airy, but there's still that little bit of, of doughiness to it as well. Nice balance though. Still thicker, greasy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not bad, though. It's flavorful. And again, if you're a regular consumer at Pizza Hut, you know the, the, the pan pizza. You know what the pan pizza tastes like. So, it's your basic pan pizza. You know, think of it that way. Pepperoni is on par, though. Good amount of it. Good uh, pepperoni distribution. Likewise, um, it's flavorful. And I can't complain. Um... We'll try the veggie slice next. Again, with the mushrooms and the green peppers. Um, really, this time I'll just assess the quality of the toppings since we pretty much took a look at the, uh, the pizza. And the pizza is satisfactory, no issues to report. Two important questions to answer, though. Number one, is anything bad going to happen to you? Because it's called the big dinner box, right? What if you want to get this before dinner time? Is something bad going to happen to you as a result? And the good news is no. Um, there is not any sort of repercussion, be that physical or material, if you order this before the established dinner time. So, no, you could order this anytime you want, as long as Pizza Hut is open, that is. Mm -hmm. Again, quality of the pizza is fine. Toppings are fresh, which is always a good sign. I noticed this nice crisp to the green peppers, which is good. Mushrooms are flavorful as well. Um, so I do notice that the pepperoni and the veggie toppings both seem to be fresh, they seem to be quality, and uh, likewise, there's a good amount of them as well. The sauce is robust, always is a nice touch. Um, you know what, let's, let's just go out there. Let's get these wings right now. I went with the boneless wings. There they are in the wing tray. Now the other big question that people were wondering, um, are there any ice worms in the big dinner box? No, there aren't. So you don't have to worry about that either. I'll try out this wing. Mm-hmm. 
juicy on the inside, crispy on the outside. Medium, but it still packs a kick. Still packs a punch. Not bad. Again, everything that I'm tasting so far with the big dinner box, it's meeting the standards, you know? Yeah, don't think of this as something that's gonna blow you away like it's the, the best artisan pizza in the world. But when you think of Pizza Hut, and you think of the quality that you'll get from that, you know, have those expectations. This is like, this is exactly what I was expecting. But that's a good thing, you know? It's, it's not like I'm looking at this and, here's the thing that I was sometimes worried about. Sometimes when places do these big meal deals, they, uh, sometimes offer subpar quality. Um, I am pleased to say, though, that there is no quality difference if you're getting the big dinner box compared to if you just get a regular pizza or something. Breadstick, still good. Chewy, especially on the top, but much more fluffy and airy from that down. Lots of the garlic um, Parmesan seasoning on it, though, which is always a nice touch. Marinara sauce complements the breadsticks nicely, and I have a feeling it would also complement the pizza nicely as well. Um, because when I've got pan pizzas before, you know, I have on occasion dipped the crust in the marinara sauce, and it always does work out well. Matter of fact, you know, I'll just dip a little bit of this pizza slice right in the marinara sauce. I'm sure it'll work. I don't see why it wouldn't, but let's verify. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the marinara sauce, I mean, use it on the breadsticks. You could even dip the pizza in it, and that works well. It's just... You know, a little bit of that extra robust sauce with a little little hint of sweetness there that, again, it complements the breadsticks very nicely. Likewise, it complements the uh, pizza as well. Personally, like I said, if you're feeling really ravenous and you want to get this, it's up to you. I think this would be good if you got family over or friends over or you want to just have pizza night or something good amount of food, good quantity. My personal recommendation would be to go with the two pizzas and the two sides. You're getting the most variety there. You're also getting the marinara sauce that comes along with the breadsticks, complimentary, a little bit of everything, nice variety. Though if you're real, you know, you're a big pizza lover, then get the three pizzas. Um, but I'm happy with it. Yeah, you look at the price and say, yeah, 20 bucks for all this stuff? Well, Sorry, I needed that sip of water there. Well, you just have to factor in, you know, the economy and all of that, and uh, certainly does make sense. I think it would be more expensive if you ordered the medium pizzas by themselves, along with the wings and the breadsticks. So certainly, if you break it all down individually, yeah, it's a good deal. So uh, I'm happy with it. I think it's a good deal. I think the quality of the pizza and the sides are good. They're satisfactory. I think it's exactly what you would hope for and want from Pizza Hut, so therefore, all things considered, uh, taking the entire meal into account, the premise, the price, the quality of the food, this gets an 8.3 out of 10, the big dinner box from Pizza Hut. I think it's exactly what you would hope to get, so if this is something that is appealing to you, hey, go out and get it, and uh, get it while it's here. It's not going to be around forever, limited time offer, but uh, I am pleased to say that the, uh, yeah, the big dinner box it has met expectations, so all's good there. And with that, that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching. Today we assessed the big dinner box from Pizza Hut. Thank you again, and take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week.